just first off, the vision of this movie compared to the end result, is it pretty much what you had in mind now that it's done? Well, that's actually a good question because uh, people have asked me that in terms of the other films I've done. What was the screenplay? How, when you write a screenplay, you're actually writing a movie. So you're making the movie in your mind and you're putting it on paper, kind of like a blueprint. And, uh, and in this case, I actually had more control than I did in the other films because I directed it. In the other films, I produced it. My best friend directed it, so it was like we were hip to hip in the trenches doing it, but we, we often had conflicts. And, and he made certain choices that I wouldn't have made. So uh, for better or worse, this movie is closer to, to the screenplay I wrote than any film I've ever done. The story of Freddie Steinmark so different than your other two because those were underdog stories. This mm -hmm. is a, a kid that was a, a very good player on a very good team, and then terrible circumstances come into his life. That's true, although at the beginning, the first third of the film kind of lays out a circumstance that uh, puts him in underdog status because he's a, a kid who weighs 140 pounds and, and no, no college is recruiting him. And it was sort of a miracle that Coach Royal saw him in, in game film recruiting another player in his high school and invited him down and offered him a scholarship. But it, it, uh, some people have, have talked to, uh, to me and said to me, this is like Rudy with, with talent. <laughs> Uh, Freddie is, but uh, no, that's true. But it, it's also the the impact that that uh, Freddie had on the players and and around him and his coach. That's part of the story too. The casting always is interesting to people. And can you kind of take us through the Aaron Eckhart plays Coach Royal and Finn Whitrock, a kind of a newcomer, plays Freddie Steinmark. Right. I mean, the the uh, uh, coach Aaron Eckhart is a great actor. I, I don't think he's ever given a bad performance and. And he has that kind of quiet intensity that I know Coach Royal has. And, uh, you know, he, he's not like a warm and fuzzy uh, guy. Uh, you know, at least a lot of the parts that I've seen him play uh, don't feel like he's inherently that guy. It doesn't matter as an actor, they can play anything. But I think he captured his essence, his energy, captured what I, I felt that Coach Royal was, was like. And in case of, of Finn, the most important role I've ever cast in my life. Because if we did get that wrong, the movie doesn't work. And we read hundreds, hundreds of actors. And we actually, uh, the, where the ones we liked, we had our football coordinator, Mike Fisher, take them out to a field and work them out to see if they could actually play. And uh, the person we ended up with, Finn Whitrock, is, uh, I'm telling you, it, I, I've never worked with an actor quite like this. He, he was special. Uh, I mean, he was, uh, it, 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 he makes this movie work. And um, everybody who's seen this film says the same thing. If this movie's successful, he'll be a movie star. So much buzz here is because we've kind of been following along with the shooting and bits and pieces of, of how it's gone down. You use some former UT athletes. Uh, the one that strikes me is Justin Street playing his dad and how exact he looks to James. Yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was just a good fortune for us and, and uh, fate, I guess, for all of us in, in that way, because uh, 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 Justin, it happens to be an actor, A. B, of all of his four brothers, of, of his three brothers, uh, he's the one who looks most like his dad, and he was the right age, and uh, the only thing, I mean, I was really nervous when he came in for his audition, and it, he was so hyped up. He wanted this so bad, as you can imagine. He was trying to kind of like think about his dad and and uh, I had to kind of walk him through he did it like four or five times and every time I said less Justin less and finally he 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 just I said just say the lines and he, and he became his dad and uh, it was so chilling for so many of the former players from that team when they come on the set and they see number 16 and it was like oh my gosh there he is reincarnated it's it was a powerful time for them then you get Case McCoy to play the Arkansas quarterback, Bill Montgomery. Well, that's his brother. His brother, uh, Colt, uh, had a lot to do with putting our team together. We had an open tryout, and uh, he and Mike Fisher, the football coordinator, uh, along with some high school coaches that Colt knew, narrowed it down to our core guys, and they, they did a great job. And Colt got on the phone and started calling some of his friends and, and convincing them to be in the movie, and one of them was Jordan Shipley, who was... Uh, Phenomenal. He actually played uh, Cotton Spire. He had a number of lines. Turned out to be uh, uh, quite a good actor, and Luke Pellman as, as well. So uh, 
Uh, we had a, a lot of really, really good uh, players. That team was tough. In fact, I, I mentioned this. The team we put together for the Rudy, our Notre Dame team, and this team, if they went toe to toe, the <laughs> UT team would wipe them off the field. <laughs> it wouldn't be close. Everybody's thinking about September 5th now when they actually yeah. get on the field against each that's other. A, that's another fateful uh, circumstance for us too. What have you learned about the University of Texas football culture in this whole process? Well, it, it's a it's a river that runs deep, and uh, and 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 I know. I know how passionate fans can be for their program, being from Bloomington, Indiana, and Indiana basketball, of course, Notre Dame. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the kind of support that we got, not only from the athletic department, but from the administration, from everybody uh, at, at, uh, connected to the university, was second to none. It wasn't even close to what, what Notre Dame did for us. But, uh, uh, and. and I think in part because they they know Rudy and how Rudy actually had an impact on on Notre Dame's football program, uh, but but they also connected to the story. This story is part of the tradition and ritual of, of game day, of uh, the players running out and touching Freddie's image outside the locker room on on the monument, and uh, so that that. Rudy's story, nobody actually knew Rudy's story in the athletic department when we were shooting it. So <laughs> it was like, why are you making a story about a, some schlub who played 27 seconds? But in this case, uh, you know, there was a, a, a sense of meaning uh, that, that uh, as I said, ran deep. Is it a coincidence that it opens the night before the Oklahoma game? It actually is a coincidence. Is it really? Yes, it wasn't planned that way, but, uh, you know, and that's where we end up. We shot the final, uh, the, the, uh, the final game is in the Cotton Bowl, uh, and uh, yeah, it's, there's a lot of synchronicity in this movie. Angelo, thanks for your time. Good luck to you. Thank you. Movie opens October 9th.